Our next segment shows an example of how computer-based imaging technology is addressing urgent needs in our healthcare system by improving the quality of medical information and medical care, by making information processing and its delivery more efficient, and by helping to stem rising healthcare costs. This imaging technology, a state-of-the-art information system that preserves, stores, and shares radiology tests, has taken Cape Cod Healthcare's imaging capabilities into the future. Cape Cod Hospital, rated as one of the top 100 hospitals in America, and Falmouth Hospital, one of only five Massachusetts hospitals rated within the top 50 hospitals in America, are both partners within the Cape Cod Healthcare Organization, a comprehensive regional healthcare system spanning the entire Cape Cod region. Our PACS and speech recognition project was uh, built for both Cape Cod Hospital and Falmouth Hospital. It was a joint project between uh, radiology departments at the two hospitals and the Cape Cod Healthcare IT organization. PACS is picture archiving and communication system. What it is is really digital uh, radiography. Um, it's really the difference between analog cameras and digital cameras. Uh, I think a lot of folks can understand that. Um, the project took place uh, starting in the summer of the year 2003 where we did a need anal needs analysis and a readiness assessment of where we were in terms of this capability and what we needed to do. Uh, we chose a vendor to work with our existing systems and brought the systems up uh, during the winter and into the summer of the year 2005. Historically, X-ray films were captured and f stored on hard copy film and this is a typical sheet of x-ray film 14 by 17 inches. These particular images are of a CAT scan of an abdomen and pelvis. The film format consists of 20 images per sheet and typically uh, a, a study of the abdomen, pelvis or chest could easily uh, consume four to eight sheets of film. The radiologists would have these films displayed on light box like you see here and then the films would be reviewed and dictated. The films would then have to be taken down and, re and re returned to the very heavy uh, film folder which uh, then had to be stored in a file room and the process was very labor in intensive. The purpose behind the project was to improve the quality of care ultimately for our patients, um, to reduce our costs of providing that care and improving the physician satisfaction not only to our radiology docs, but to the attending and referring physicians in our community. Um, my particular agenda as well was to enhance uh, our electronic medical record that we've been building over the years that now incorporates uh, lab uh, from C-Lab, uh, all the results there, our dictated reports from physicians, and our uh, meds that patients take while in the hospital. There are many benefits of the new PACS system that we've had at Cape Cod Hospital for about one and a half years. Several that come to mind include the benefit of referring physicians being able to virtually at the same time view the images as I am viewing them and interpreting them or shortly thereafter. These images are being stored on a server and can be accessed not only by us at our workstations but also by referring physicians remotely in their offices. This is in contrast to the old technology where there was a single piece of film with the information and if I happened to be interpreting it, it was not available for referring physicians and subsequently if the physician had it in his office or her office and had questions about it, I, was, I didn't have access to it. So it was cumbersome and did slow up 
the transfer of useful information for the physicians regarding their particular patients. But the ability to have the images displayed in, uh, for us as well as at the referring physician, we can then converse by phone uh, and resolve uh, questions that he or she might have. As a demonstration of our present version of our PAC system, I've chosen as an example, a typical example, that is a CT scan of a patient's abdomen and pelvis. The present PAC system, when we choose or select today's CT scan, will search its archive and if there is an old study available, it knows that we might want to have the similar old study for direct comparison and it chooses it, chooses it and brings it up in the second monitor on the right. And then by we have the ability to link the two studies so that as we're scrolling through the patient's images on the left-hand monitor, the right-hand monitor is scrolling through the prior image and prior study for direct comparison. This is very useful in following patients who, with, who are being treated for uh, tumors in, their, in our oncology service where we're tracking and trying to compare response to treatment, whether something is getting larger or smaller over a period of time. So this is an, a, a typical example of the usefulness of the PAX system. These images of abdomen and pelvis are commonly also employed for patients coming through our emergency room where we might be looking for appendicitis, diverticulitis, kidney stones, aneurysms, bowel obstructions, etc. Another benefit of the PAC system relates to the voice recognition system which prior to uh, about a year ago we would dictate into a system that then had to be transcribed and then we would sign the reports at a later time, usually within a day or so. The reports were then sent out, etc. The new voice recognition system allows access to our signed reports virtually within a few minutes after we sign off and it has dramatically improved the turnaround time for uh, the reports from us. After analyzing the images on the monitor, we can now utilize the PowerScribe voice recognition system which dramatically speeds up the turnaround time and virtually allows access to our completed report within just a few minutes from the time of dictation. New paragraph. This study performed with a history of abdominal pain period the liver, comma, spleen, comma, adrenal glands, and pancreas are unremarkable, period. New paragraph. Both kidneys are present in functioning and are unremarkable, period. The abdominal aorta is normal in size, period. There is no evidence for aneurysm or dissection, period. So the bottom line to me as a patient is that if I use Cape Cod Healthcare's ancillary services, our x-rays, 
uh, MRI, CT, ultrasound, PET scan, or C-Lab, that information's in our electronic medical record and is available in a secured fashion to my physician at the hospital, in the office, or even at his or her home. Advances in technologies, such as computer-based imaging and communication systems, will not only alter and improve medical treatment and services, but will serve as a model for the adoption of similar technologies across the entire practice of medicine.